All right, hello there, everybody. I have a kind of a different one today. I wanted to do a little experiment. Um, I ordered some games from GameStop. Uh, they were having a, uh, I believe it was five for twenty-five on ten, ten dollars or less games. Um, and I think this deal didn't include retro. Anyway, this one was the five for five. Uh, so I picked out some, uh, you know, kind of newer stuff, uh, but like last generation type of stuff. Um, that I wanted for the collection. Of course, the big question is, you know, did I get complete copies? Did I get just a disc or just a cart? Or did I get a case? Did I get a manual? What kind of condition are they in even? Um, I've seen a few other people be ordering from GameStop and sometimes they get lucky and they'll have more than expect, but sometimes they just get a disc and sometimes they get a really crappy <laughs> condition um, cart or something. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I ordered, I should have 10 things here, but uh, let me go ahead and start unboxing them. I, I haven't opened them up because I wanted to open up on camera and we'll see how we did. First package is opened and looks like we got PS Vita game, Soul Sacrifice. Looks like I got just the cart there, it's one of their GameStop cases. But looks pretty good. Looks like an interesting game, so I picked that up. But uh, not too surprising on a Vita game that I would get uh, just a just a cart, since uh, usually they're notorious for not having handheld game cases. But there's that. Such a big package just for one thing. Package number two. Okay, pack number two is another DS game, Trauma Center Under the Knife. Once again, I guess I'm not too surprised that it was uh, like this, but it looks to be in pretty good condition. Take it out of here. Um, and so, so all these were, like I said, they were that 5 for 25, so uh, they should all be about 5, which, you know, it's okay on a lot of these since they don't. If when they don't have cases, it's a little less great, but not too bad. It's all stuff that I wanted to add to the collection anyway, so that that's at least good, even if I'm just getting a cart. All right, here's package number three. Okay, uh, look, they're still not looking too good. Uh, next one is Star Fox Command. but looks to be pretty good condition. There we go. And Persona 4 Arena, another, looks like disc only. Yeah, at least the, the discs are okay, they don't look too bad. I mean, for five bucks for stuff like that, I think it's worth it. That's something I probably would have picked up if it was five bucks. You know, if I had seen it out and about. All right, we got the next big one here. So there should be six in this last container, but we'll find out. Okay, so last box, there is six here. Um, I got Resident Evil, The Mercenaries 3D, just the card again. So yeah, like I said, not too surprised on the DS and Vita stuff, but you never know. There's that guy. Okay, you got Novo Naga's Ambition Sphere. Yeah, Sphere of Influence. No case on that one. Here's a nice one. 
pocket tournament. Got that with the case. Very nice. I think it's backwards, but it's all right. Um, yeah. No manual. I don't know if this one did come with a manual, but uh, that's good. Get that. Um, got Rodea Sky Soldier. Put this around real quick. Disc only again. But looks to be in pretty good condition. Interesting. It looked like an interesting NAS America game, so pick that up. For five, for the five. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I have the the first Dragon's Dogma, but didn't have Dark Arisen, so I picked that up. Disc only again. And oh, look at this. Um, I got the Ico Shadow of the Colossus Collection High Definition Remaster. And this one's complete. Look at that. So I got one complete game. <laughs> That's a, it's a good one to get complete. So yeah, there's uh, 10 games there. Looks like I got uh, one complete, one with a case, and then disc and card only for the rest. So not terribly great on uh, on that, but uh, I guess it's what you kind of expect. You know, um, a lot of the times if you go into a store, they'll have a lot of stuff like this anyway. They don't have the cases for a lot of them. It was an interesting experiment. Uh, I was just curious, you know, to see how well I do, how if I'd get lucky with any of it. Um, I saw recently um, Sick Cooper. That I watch a lot for for this kind of stuff. He ordered a bunch of Switch games. He actually got quite a few cases, and so I wonder if that's just because newer system, less likely chance that people, when they traded it in, that they didn't have a case. So this is uh, actually a second order from uh, the Double Jump video game store. Uh, it's the store Sick Cooper YouTuber has. Um, I wasn't gonna buy again from them. I bought once uh, when they opened their online stores because I wanted to get some stuff and kind of, you know, show support by buying stuff from them. But um, they had some cool stuff come in, just actually some figures and stuff. So I went ahead and bought them and I bought a few more manuals that I needed, a few games that uh, I needed to complete some boxes. Okay. Yeah, I thought I had a box of them coming here, so we'll see how, how well everything turned out. The packing is good. Right. That's a good little more app here. Oops. All right, so this is kind of the main reason I went for it. Check this out. Wow. It's Resident Evil Action Figure Series 2, Claire, Code Veronica. That's cool looking. Looks like it made it okay. I don't see any any real issues. The top has kind of a raised feel to it. Not sure what these secure files. I guess. Not sure what those secure files on the side are. Oh, cool! It's even got the logo base. I, I'm seeing there on the back. He originally had, I could probably even show it here. You can see it's 30. He originally had like 75 on him, but I think um, someone kind of let him know that you can find it cheaper elsewhere. I nah, won't we'll be able to get it, but. Um, yeah, there's two tags there. <laughs> um, you can find it cheaper elsewhere. And so he was just cool enough to just be like, okay, I'll go ahead and uh, lower the price. And so I was like, man, I really wanted to get one of those. At 75, I wasn't going to do it. But uh, at 30, I'll do it. So went ahead and ordered it. Looks pretty cool, though. Um, I don't have many action figures, but this is definitely a cool one to have since it's so gaming related. So I didn't show the back here as well. A little profile there. Well, looks cool. So, you know, I, I realized that um, I probably could have gotten it for that price somewhere else and, um, you know, maybe even gotten it cheaper if I had found it somewhere, but I thought it was cool that he lowered the price and it was really cool looking, so 
wanted to get it. Set it over here. Not sure where I'm going to put it. <laughs> That's a different problem, of course. But uh, it's very cool. Glad to get you. Glad to get that. And you know, shout out to him to lowering that price when you know he didn't necessarily have to. Um, I think he had said he already had two orders at the 75, and he, he gave refunds to those people. But um, you know he could have kept it like that, and wouldn't have mattered. All right, games and stuff in here. Very nice. I won't go grab the boxes, but uh, I picked up, um, yeah, this is five for Roadrunners, Death Valley, Rally. Um, looks like it's in nice condition, just missing a little on the back. It's only five bucks. I have the box, um, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, I'm just going to complete that. I'm getting kind of a big stack of empty boxes, so I'm going to try to work a little harder on finding the games for them, maybe spend a little more just so I can complete that. Another one, uh, another Looney Tunes actually, is Daffy Duck, uh, the Marvin missions. Pretty nice. There's a sticker on the top. Hopefully I can get that off. But that one was tense. It's been a little more. But like I said, another box that I have. So I'll be able to put that on my shelf now. Finally. Here. Yeah. Here's another one. Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. I think I have the box and manual for that. So I'm pretty happy to Get that for eight and complete that. Looks pretty good on the back. But um, like all these are really nice labels, so don't have to worry about that. And the manuals I picked up. Um, Dream G2. Oh, sorry, no, that, that is the Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Gentlemen, we are fortunate. Why? He's an imbecile. For three bucks, so there you go. I guess I didn't have the manual already. And I was looking at the back, I was like, oh, it's that game. No, stupid. Anyway, three bucks so for that, very nice. So that will complete my copy of that. Um, Mortal Kombat for the SNES. That, that I do have the game in box for, so just need the manual. You know, I. The, I think I mentioned this before, I really like that he does put individual manuals because I feel like even at a lot of game stores I can't find um, just manuals, you know. So it's nice to be able to go and buy them, complete the boxes that I actually do happen to have. Um, Mortal Kombat 3 for 3 bucks. These are all in decent condition, so this is also the Super Nintendo. Um, I don't have the game, but I do have the box for that. And uh, another one I do have the box for, Top Gear. I just had two bucks on that manual, so very nice. Very cool. Happy to get that one. And uh, you know, those are all just kind of further furthering the boxes that I have already. And here's another cool one. And here, got here is a, a Japanese Moogle clock. Very cool, 25 bucks. Desk clock. And this is something that I don't know. I think if I had seen, seen this when I was in Japan, I would have picked up. I mean, maybe maybe not because of the size, but still, it is a 14 online thing. kind of a it feels like a little bit of a cheaper plastic so it's not like a wood or anything like that crazy like that but still cool hmm. under what it takes here I'll have to check that out but very cool definitely worth it it's pretty unique too I haven't really seen anything like that before got a nice look to it So that's what all I got um, from this order. Nothing too crazy. Um, 
mostly just wanting to get those figures um, that he had on offer, and I picked up a few extra things um, that I wanted as well, just to kind of make the order complete. Okay, next pickup uh, this weekend, um, I went out again, of course, went to garage sales, didn't find too much gaming, but I did, um, I went to some flea markets, um, I hadn't been to in a while, uh, north of where I am, and um, in one of the cities, there was a, uh, it's like a pawn shop, but it's, it put itself as a trade shop, um, they had mostly like collectibles and stuff like that. Um, but they had a lot of games and I think that when I went to the city before they were always closed So I think they had reopened recently um, And I was glad I went because they had a bunch of stuff. Uh, I got some some nice uh, commons and uh, Some a few really good titles for pretty cheap um, So I was happy I was able to go and kind of discover a new resource like you know I marked this down as a good resource because uh, it's the kind of place that gets in a lot of different games and yeah they, they of course they have their their Mario's and Zelda's priced up as you expect but on the common stuff they just have some lower prices which is always good for me since I'm looking for that common stuff okay but let me go ahead and get into it uh, but here are just some kind of random pickups from a few garage sales um, and I think one was from actually from another flea market but um, picked up Harry Potter and social stone for three nice uh, cheap little pickup um, just to add to the PS1 collection. Um, here's an interesting one from a flea market. It's, it's a Lunar Silver Star Story Disc 2 for five bucks. I debated on whether or not it was worth it to buy it for, you know, for five. This is just Disc 2. Um, there are some light marks on there, so I'm not sure. It might not work. It's definitely super scratched on the back, but I can resurface it, so I'm not too concerned. But I figured, you know, Lunar is rare enough that um, that might be worth it one day to complete a set, you know. Um, grad sale, I picked up Minecraft for PlayStation 3 for, it was three bucks. Minecraft's always good to pick up. Um, picked up Resident Evil 5 for Xbox 60 for a dollar. Figured why not? I don't think it's worth too much. I bought this Halo Ultimate Companion DVD set. Kind of interesting, so I picked it up. Uh, just to, you know, DVD with some uh, movies and screenshots, and then it has a demo disc here, exhibition demo disc, Capcom versus SNK2 on there. Nothing too crazy, but I thought it was interesting to pick up. That was two bucks. Uh, I picked up Tekken 4 for a dollar fifty. Um, I thought I needed this, but I do have a Greatest Hits, so I will be able to replace this, um, replace my Greatest Hits copy. It was in good condition, buck fifty, so I picked it up. Um, probably one of the better garage sale scores is this PSP. Um, I actually need to plug it in and test it out, but, uh, it's a, uh, 2000 model, I believe. Yeah, 2001 model. It doesn't have a battery. The guy told me that uh, he uh, he took the battery out because it was um, exploded, you know, where it expands out. It would be pretty common with these PSP batteries. But otherwise, it's in good condition. Like I said, I need to test it, but um, I'll be surprised if it doesn't work. Um, but otherwise, good condition. And uh, I only paid 10 bucks. Uh, I've got a case here and some wipes in here I guess <laughs> and it had uh, two protectors and uh, like a hard case for it I won't use those but three games um, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 and these are all complete so come fire team Bravo 2 and SOCOM Tactical Strike, which I'll probably keep that. So I think that's a more tactical take on it, but let's see. But for 10 bucks, obviously, it was pretty good. I was glad this one panned out because uh, I it was one where I asked about games, you know, and they said, oh, yeah, I think he has like a, a PlayStation, one of those small PlayStations, but uh, I'll have to have him go get it. And I, I waited like 10 minutes, which 
feel, it was really feels like a bummer when you're out garage sailing and you know I was I was early so I was like oh man I'm making good time and then to sit at a garage sale for 10 minutes it's kind of a bummer but fortunately they found it and um, and I was able to pick it up and that's a good score so happy about that um, the next one is this is all from that um, swap shop I mentioned so very happy I went to be able to get some good pickups um, First pickup was uh, a jumper pack for N64. Um, I think I need this for when I'm selling, but um, I figured it was a good purchase. They actually had two. I should have bought both now that I think about it. It's only four bucks, which is pretty good. Um, you know, obviously I could use it in the future if I get one that doesn't have one or if I get one that has the memory expansion and I want to sell that separately or something like that. Still good. It was nice to find it. Um, Command & Conquer for the PS1. This... Um, has Red Alert for the PS1, and disc one, and then it has uh, has the regular disc one there. So I am missing a disc two on that, but uh, for six bucks, I figured it was worth it. Um, yeah, <laughs> can't say too much about that. I mean, it's kind of an iffy purchase, but I was kind of just picking up stuff I was interested in, um, and that seemed like it was worth it for the case and the manual and one of the discs. I uh, got the next Tetris for three bucks. Just happy to find some PS1 games. Nothing too crazy in there, but some good stuff. Patriotic Pinball. Three bucks. Um, Tall Infinity. Puzzle game. Looks like a tower, tower gem thing. Uh, Jigsaw Madness. Three. Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, three bucks. So yeah, just some, um, some you know, more common PlayStation games, but um, the prices were good, and I'm always happy to add to the collection stuff. So that makes it worth it for me. Uh, I picked up one Wii game, uh, Bully Scholarship Edition. It's only five, so I picked that up. Um, haven't played Bully yet. Um, I gotta stop buying this game. <laughs> uh, Backyard Football. I bought it for PS2, um, so I thought it was worth it, and it wasn't. And then I bought this one because I was like, oh, GameCube, that's the one that's worth it, right? Nope. I mean, it's like an eight, ten dollar game. Only spent four on it, but yeah, kind of stuff buying that game. <laughs> it's one of those things where I, you know, you buy it and then, or you see it somewhere, and you're like, oh, is that's worth something. But I think it's like a specific version, and then I just pick, pick it up without really thinking so um here's a good one though uh scarface the world is yours for five uh this is going for like 25 i think right now so that was a good pickup um our clad twilight of the spirits for, for three it's a really good price for oh that's right i didn't have a manual a little bit of a bummer on that but that's all right and this is all, this is for the collection. Pac-Man Fever, I think. It's kind of a Tekken character in there. Oh, it's like a Mario Party game, I see. No manual on that, but three bucks, not bad. Um, Sleeping Dogs. Didn't have that for PS3. I played the Definitive Edition on PC. Good game. Pretty fun. Um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2. I picked this up just because um, my copy is missing a manual. So, for three bucks, it's worth it for me to just replace the manual and then um, I'll trade in. Of course, it's probably not worth to sell without that. Here's probably the best one, at least the one I was happy about Mystic Heroes. For six bucks, I think that's worth it. Nice addition. And finally, Stuart Little 3 Big Photo Adventure. For three bucks. Is there even a Stuart there at Little Three? I don't know. <laughs> Still, good stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it was a lot of commons in that lot. Mr. Kiro's being the best one. Um, Scarface is a good for a resale title, but it was still a good shop to go through. I'm always happy when I, you know, they had, he just had like stacks of. Um, <laughs> boxes filled with ps2 games and some ps1 and of course a lot of xbox and stuff but it was still pretty cool 
uh, to find and get another resource that I know that if I go back there, you know, in a few months, there's probably going to be some different inventory that I can check out. So that's always good to see.